we play. We fight. We conquer. Welcome to the Freak Show. I am your host today, Bumpy McSquiggums, and we get a chance to dive in and check out Pretty Presents NIS Classics Volume 3, La Pucelle Ragnarok, and Rhapsody, a musical adventure. This is the Nintendo Switch version. We're going to be playing La Pucelle Ragnarok, as I'm sure you can see right before your very own eyes. It is due out on August 30th, 2022 for North America and September 2nd, 2022 for the EU, Australia, New Zealand. And it's going to be available on the Switch, and the individual titles will be available on PC as well. I went with the Switch version because all of the other NIS Classic volume things that I have are all on the Switch. Though, I don't know, it, it kind of... They maybe I should have gotten it on PC, I, I, don't, I don't know. But I, I need stuff for the Switch, and these are great. A big shout out and a thank you to NIS America for hooking me up with the code for this. Uh, my request came super late, so this is kind of like a... A very, very late request, and the, they were very kind. They got back to me quickly, and they got it into my hands. So they went above and beyond, and I appreciate that. Uh, initially, I was going to reach out as soon as they announced that this was going to be a thing, but they didn't have the uh, request form there. So then I just somehow missed it the subsequent times I came back. Anyway, long story short, we're here. We're ready to dive in. Uh, you're going to have an episode of this and the other, the uh, Rhapsody, a musical adventure. Kind of back to back at the same time ish, and you'll get to enjoy. It. So let's get into it. I did switch the controls a little bit, so this might go weird, but we'll, we'll see. I, I I put like the A and the B the way they should be instead of Nintendo, so we'll see I how it goes. Enough. I can't stand it. Uh huh. I'm gonna try to hit auto here. To waste my time fighting zombies. They are such wimps. True. What if my clothes get dirty? They were just washed. Stop talking like that. Father Salad is right. We're new at this, so we've got to start small and then move on to tougher enemies. Remember, two days in a row, you let a ghost get away because you wandered off on your own. Mm -hmm. Besides, I'm the one who has to do all the laundry. Can you just stop complaining for a while? Shut up, you! Uh. Oh. Now, Sister Priye, Kulad is right. You're still a novice yeah. demon hunter. Try not to forget that. And remember, we're servants of the Holy Goddess. I thought it was Priye. It's Priye. I forbid okay. you to call those lost souls wimps ever again. Priye. Ugh. Here we go again. My name's Kulat. I'm a novice demon hunter. Hi, Kulat. Four years ago, my sister Priye and I joined the Church of the Holy Maiden. This spring, we were admitted to La Pucelle, the church's demon hunting squad. Yeah. The woman who was scolding my sister is Sister Alouette. She's our teacher. She joined the church two years ago. We've been in the church longer, but she's much more advanced. Mm -hmm. She not only teaches us demon hunting, but also manners and etiquette. She has no memory of her past. Oh, really? As for Priye, her language gets more vulgar every day. It's probably not good being part of the church and vulgar language. Sam, they, they seem to be like oil and water situation. Understand, Sister Priye? Yeah, I understand. Now you must repent. Okay, okay. Oh, holy goddess Poitrine. Poitrine. Sorry about that. There, I'm done. <laughs> Sister Priye, you need to take this more seriously. Okay, okay. <sighs> this is such a pain. Oh, holy goddess, please see fit to punish me, your unworthy servant. Oh! Ah, hey! What was that? I was talking to the goddess! Eesh. I didn't do anything. Uh-huh. I think your prayer reached the goddess, after all. 
That's not what I saw. Watch it, Priye. Uh oh. You want to be the next maiden of light, right? Well, don't waste time with this nonsense. Just stay cool and focus on the important stuff. Very well. We should get started. Kulad, what is the foundation of any investigation? Um, the foundation is collecting information, Sister Elouette. Sure. Well done, Kulat. As usual, very good. Yay! Hey, are you blushing? <laughs> oh, me? Come on, you two. Let's go help some lost souls. Yeah. In the name of the Maiden of Light. Let's get some zombies. Okay. Good times. I don't know much oh, about. Me. Soon enough. I don't know much about the Rhapsody, a musical adventure. So very interested to see how that one goes. But we'll, we'll see. On Come the on. job training. On the job training. Sorry, 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 Priye. Apologize. I still think Priye sounds better, but we'll go with Priye. B button inside church. Oh my God, we move so fast. Strange. All right. Oh. Should, should I be talking to people or? All right. Let's start out here. When you go to the world map, you should always press X and save your game. Better safe than sorry. Saving often is very important. You can also press X on the map selection screen to save. Oh, oh my god. Okay. I can save right here. Look at that. Ha! Yeah. That was cool. Alright, it kind of works the way I wanted to. I just have to remember. Buttons are backwards. The children say they saw some zombies in the devil's stomach. That can't be true, can it? The devil's stomach? That's what we call the old sewer system on the edge of town. Did you forget? We used to play there all the time. Oh, that place. They call it the Devil's Stomach, huh? Some of the people in town might give us important clues, so make sure you pay attention to what they say. Okay, although I do tend to forget things pretty easily, so I'm counting on you to remember the important stuff, Kulat. Oh, Priye. Fine. What's up? The purpose of an investigation is to gather information. You do know this, right, Sister Priye? Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty sure you've told me this about a billion times already. Then let's hurry and begin our investigation. A little busy. How are you both doing? How do you like life in La Pucelle? It's a piece of cake. Oh, there's so much to remember. It's really hard, Sister Olive. Well, everyone thinks that at first. I'm praying that you two will become great demon hunters soon. Thanks. Yeah, we already spoke with you. Oh, you're just spinning your... Okay, and then we can go there. What's over here? An exit. What, do we have an exit on this side? We do. Interesting. And then we can go inside the church. Okay, what's up, man? I, If I have to die, I'd like a nice young angel to come and get me. Not a nasty death spirit. <laughs> okay, creepy. What do you mean, hey, 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 you pervert? Yeah, no kidding. According to the holy book, the Maiden of Light and the Prince of Darkness fought 50 years ago. It doesn't say what happened. I wonder what that means. That is kind of odd. It's hard to believe, but only 35 years have passed since Father Salad is Salad uh, created the Church of the Holy Maiden. Salad, 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 do got nothing. He worked long and hard to gain the trust of something. Their help and support made this grand cathedral possible. I think I accidentally bumped the button there. Uh huh. Oh, the royal family. All right, I didn't do that. I was, I was testing all of you. Okay, this is the infirmary. Let's go see how the infirm are doing. 
Oh, poor Rossini. Dear goddess, why must my child suffer with such a terrible illness? Are you Rossini? Oh, hello, Sister Prie. How can I help you? Unfortunately, we don't have any kind of medicine or any medicine for your kind of problem. What's that supposed to mean? Yeah, I feel like I feel like you're being singled out. I'm, I'm just saying. They don't seem to be real kind to Prie. All right, we're gonna exit this way. Church front. All right, now, hold on. What what happens if we exit the other way? I'm just just curious. Yum, and we we do move pretty darn fast. PD PDF. Huh. Interesting. Hey, Priya, how about going out on a date with me? How come the only men to ask me out are old fro old fro froggies, old fogies like him? It's better than nothing, isn't it? Uh, hmm. you're a sister, right? How do you know when you're in love? Come on, tell me. Er, well, that is, hey. That is a good question. In the kingdom of Paprika, it's the women who succeed to the throne. So the next queen will be Eclair, the daughter of Queen Crepine. Sounds delicious. Can I talk to you? Yes. Mubu! I guess the Mubu is called the Mubu because that's what it says. How interesting. If you say so. I went to the Church of the Divine Mother to pray this morning. I owe my current health to the church. Thank you, old Divine Matre. Ooh, the Rosen Queen shop. What? We know all about the Rosen Queen shop up in here. Who this? Hello, my name is Ellie. Uh, this is my store. Eerie. Eerie? 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 Sorry, that's a little habit of mine. Only happens when I get excited. Oh, boy. Today is our grand opening. This is the music. Feel free to look around, okay? Well, it has a little bit of auto-advancing going on. Welcome to the music room. Listen to your favorite tracks here. No, 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 no. It was, it was fine. I didn't, uh, we didn't need it. Thank you for stopping by. I am a scout for the dark world. There has been constant war there for 10,000 years, and the balance of power changes daily. There are about 2,000 demon lords in the dark world, but my master is among the strongest. I'm here searching for talented fighters. If you know anyone, please introduce them. We'll take care of anyone you introduce. Of course, that care depends on their skill. In return for the introduction, uh, we will permit, or sorry, perform a special item combination service for you. The service uses a special Dark World technique to combine your items. If the items you want combined to the character you introduce to us, just one catch. The level of the character you introduce or the items is too low, the combination won't work. I'm always here. Please feel free to drop by and talk anytime. That sounds like a really not good mechanic, but uh, we'll see. My boyfriend's birthday is coming. Aren't you a little young? Uh, is coming up. What, what do you think I should buy for him, miss? <laughs> it's no good asking her. She doesn't have a boyfriend. A lot. Uh huh. Hello, welcome to the Rosen Queen store shop. Yes. Oh, stuff, stuff here and that. It's gonna be great. What? Wait. What does it change up? Use the change. Use. Y to change the direction of energy. What? Huh. I have no idea what that means. Alright, we're leaving. Oh, my body's twitching. That's not a good sign. Aren't you a sister from the Church of the Holy Maiden? That church is kind of small and dingy, isn't it? I guess. I much prefer the Church of the Divine Mother. It's big and rich, you know. I'm gonna kill that woman. Rie, you're not thinking about killing this woman, are you? you do, well, why, of course not. The sister think of such a thing. 
Yes, what do you want to know about? Uh, I don't know. So there's a lot of info here. I think we're going to maybe just try stuff and see if we can't figure it out for a change. It certainly is a nice day today. Well, the laundry will dry well. You knew we should listen to him. Alright, well, it's whatever. The basics of combat. The basics are very important. Ask me anything. Not, not, never mind. Ah. Ah. Healing. When you go to the world map, damage to characters will be repaired, HP and SP restored. If you want to heal during combat, you must use an item or special ability. Yep, that all makes sense. You can also use Fairy Dust or special ability to recover, to help a character recover. By the way, combat will be much easier if you use magic or an item to make enemies sleep. Multiple attacks. There are three ways to do multiple attacks. What you want to know about? Team attacks. Try placing two of your characters next to their support. Yep. You can have many characters attack an enemy at once. It's called team attack. It'll come in handy, so remember it. A limitation of team attacks, they can't be used together with a special ability. Of course, the enemy can use team attacks too, so do be ready. You could wind up in trouble if you charge into a group of enemies. The trick to using team attacks is the proper placement of your characters. Sorry. Next to each other. I wanted to make sure. I, I kind of figured that was the case. I just want to make sure there wasn't like something different like next to the enemy. I think I might have said that. If you order several characters to attack one enemy and then begin the battle or end the turn, they'll attack the enemy together in a combo. Each hit will get a little bit stronger. Okay, I got you. Yeah, I know how this... Uh, uh, I know how that works. What's the final one? Elevation differences and direction of attacks. When attacking an enemy, it's best to attack from the sides of the rear. Okay, makes sense. And how much does elevation play a uh, factor? If you're on a higher elevation than your enemy, you'll cause more damage. Alright, makes sense. Likewise, lower, less. Got it. Okay. You know what? I think we are maybe just for the first time ever gonna just wing it. Let's wing. Let's get our wings going. Pat Ao Fue City. Yep, I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. Well, Into the Devil's Stomach. The Devil's Stomach. This is the place. They said they saw the zombies here. That's easy to believe. Alright, let's go on in. I mean, sure. Would you like to see a battle tutorial? Yeah, sure, why not? Now, let's review what you've learned so far. Kulat, do you mind? I'd be happy to, Sister Alouette. And Sister Priye, make sure you pay attention. You should probably take notes. Yeah, yeah. The basics of demon hunting. First, move the cursor to the base panel. Press the B button to select the characters you want to use. Uh-huh. Prayer, Kulat, and Alouette. Alou Alouette. Then give each character its orders. Do we have a grid-based system? I bet we do this time. Yeah, we do. Okay, we're gonna bonk that. Just understand that attack orders aren't carried out right away. Tab your orders execute, push the X button, and choose begin battle or end turn from the menu. Bit love. Uh oh. Here it goes. Here we go. The bits. Oh, did she die? <laughs> they beat me. An excellent example. Of what not to do. Hey, it wasn't that bad. That's what happens if you let yourself get surrounded by enemies. Unconscious, unconscious characters are restored when you go back to the world map. But if all of your characters are knocked unconscious, I can't say that word today, unconscious, it's game over. 
You always want to have more than one character attacking an enemy. That's exactly right, Kulat. Be more careful next time. Kulat, you can attack enemies two squares away, for example. If Sister Prie is between you and an enemy, you can both fight. She acts as a shield. Sounds good to me. That's easy for you to say. I'll be the one who's getting clobbered. Those are the basics. Let's see if you can put them to work in a little bit. Hey, you're not listening to me. Let's get to work. Defeat all M and M and M and M knees. Attack A, okay, and then we're gonna go over to Kulat. Move you down here, and we're going to attack A, yeah, sure. And then Alouette. We'll move her up here, and she's gonna slap a pool there. Alright. Begin battle! Squeak, squeak, baby! Do you want me to smack you down? Baby? Okay. Yeah. She just kicked the bat. Oh, apparently they defend together too. I didn't know that. That's interesting. Attack. Oh. oh. We get stat level up. We mustn't bars? let our guard down around these bloodsuckers. Fascinating. Forgive me. <laughs> she just pimp slapped him. She's just like, forgive me, smack. Bit sandwich. Alright, if we wanted to change facing. Yeah, okay. Oh, they're switching it up. Here we go! Bonk. Why you? Why is who? Oh, because they probably swap sides. Now, how dare you, Smack? <laughs> this is great. Goddess, forgive me. It's very interesting. So different experience bars to level up different stats. I like it. At least I think I like it. I mean, one would assume that I I like. Okay, this is Prie. Uh, we go from the high ground up here, and we are going to attack with reckless abandon. Squeeze! Can't squeak. lose to such a tiny monster. I have to show Sister Alouette I can handle things on my own. Yeah, it didn't really work out for that bat. Just saying. Took a lot out of me. Alright. Don't fully grasp what's going on there, but it looks cool. Battle bonus, purification bonus, uh huh, and total of Prika. Would you like to see a battle tutorial? Probably. Plot, what comes next? I know, purification, right? Now you're talking. Purification is La Pucelle's is La Pucelle's middle name. Or Hilla. About purification. Purification cleanses a location or soul of dark energy. You can see that there are three colored diamonds on the field. These are dark portals. You could use the purify command to purify them. Sure. Yeah, now you can have the zoom in, I saw it. These dark portals will make us weaker, and so does the dark energy that flows from them. Okay, yeah, 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 so geo symbols and stuff. Yep, got it. Enemies can use dark portals to enter the battlefield, so purify the portals quickly. Oh, that's fascinating. Some dark portals' hit points are stronger than others. You may need to purify them more than once. However, once their HP reaches zero, the purifying character can perform one more action. This is called Purification Reaction. Purification Reaction also affects all allies that are on the path of the dark energy. 
When you purify a dark portal, you damage enemies standing on the energy flowing from it. The kind of damage depends on the color of the energy. For example, red energy causes fire damage, green probably wind, and so on and so forth. Okay, purify. It's kind of neat. And the further down the chain they go, the more damage they take. Oh, that's cool. Light blue energy is special. Instead of damaging enemies, it will restore the hit points of your characters. You triggered a purification reaction, now you'll be able to perform one more action for this turn. If you position your units well, you may be able to move twice in one turn, or even attack. Using it well can quickly turn the tide of battle, so keep it in mind. Dark energy will flow in the same direction as a character standing on it is facing. As you just saw, an enemy facing the flow, but not on it, can stop the flow without taking damage from it. Sure. Now you tell me. In this situation... She's going to turn to the right, right? Use the change facing commands or hold Y in the direction buttons to change the character. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that's kind of neat. It's a really weird situation. Energy will flow in the direction the character is facing. Stand, just remember, stand out in the dark energy and face the direction you want the energy to flow. Using purification effectively with the small force you'll have at the beginning is hard. One trick, use an item called a change-up to change the direction of the dark energy. Once you place a change-up, you can't move it. But you can change its direction with the direction. Okay, I gotcha. You can even place it on top of enemies to force the energy to change direction. That's funny. But they are one-time use items. Once you clear a field, they will disappear. By using purification, you can attack enemies from a distance. It'll definitely come in handy, so make sure to practice. I won't worry about the details now. I'll just try to purify as many portals as I can. I mean, I should probably focus on the details. I hear the devils in them. Wait, whoa, whoa, there's a lot of this going on. Um... I'm going to try some weird stuff. I don't know if it's going to work. It's not going to work because I can't get to where I want to be. Can you? I'm like overshooting. No. Alright, hold on, hold on. Can we, yeah, we can move you back. Wait, we can... That's weird. Really? Sorry, I'm, I'm slightly confused by all of this. So I can... That's crazy. Hmm. 
You know what? Why not? Let's purify. That's cool. What a weird series of... What a strange, just, concept. I like it. It's just gonna take me a second to get, kinda get my head around it entirely. Are we allowed to smack things? Looks like we are allowed to smack things, all right. All right, I think I'm just gonna go slap some stuff here. All right, let's go ahead and slap this bat, for instance. And let's begin battle. I just wanna see what happens when we do this. It should allow me to get the little bit of bonus from Kulat. Some level ups going on there, and then if we move, we can't move you. All right. So what if I attack? Yeah, from here. How's that gonna play? Oh, we get all three of them. Cool. Okay. There's the bonk. Here comes the follow up, and the backhand. Eh. Nice. Goddess, forgive me. That's pretty cool. I like it. Da, 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 da. Purification bonus, cool. Would you like to see the battle tutorial? Sure. Glad, please continue the lesson. Okay, next comes converting enemies to friends, right? Wait, what now? What? You can make friends with enemies? Prie, just what have you been studying all this time? Seriously, how did you manage to pass your test? Oh. Shut up, I don't learn from books, I learn by experience. A lot. Yes, ma'am. I'll explain how to turn your enemies into friends. To make an enemy into a friend, you must purify that enemy. This is weird. I don't dislike it, but it's weird. Are we gonna throw them or, or just straight purify them? Purification power eleven. Slightly interested. What? It, it's 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 like the uh, Dark Assembly brought into actual combat mechanic. Weird. Hesitant to join. This is strange. If you purify an enemy before you defeat it, like this. So great. I just, I just love it. Got the ability tough love. Bit Diet joins forces with you. Yeah. There's a chance that will become one of your characters. The more times you purify an enemy, the cleaner its heart becomes and the greater the chance of it going over to your side. Converted characters can be immediately called into battle from the base panel. Really? That's kind of cool. They come in at half health? That's all there is to it. The more enemies you convert, the stronger your forces will be. Do they stay afterward? Thank you, Kulat. Uh, you did very well. Gee, thanks. Sister Prie uh, will lead us from uh, now on. Me? A leader? Yes, you, but of course, you're still in training. If we meet an enemy that you can't handle, or, if I decide that you aren't fit to lead, I will immediately relieve you and take command. Yeah, yeah, that's what I figured. Oh well, one more step closer to be in the Maple Light. 
I'll show them a thing or two. All right, victory conditions. Oh, we just immediately have Batsy, huh? Tiny Batsy in a small space. They're all done already, huh? Wait, can the bat purify stuff? There's no way, right? Okay, yeah, there's, I'm like, there's no way it can purify something. I, you know, I think I'm just gonna leave the bat out and let's end our turn, let's see what we get. How dare you bite me, bit blanket. Here, Here, hold my lollipop. Lollipop, lollipop. Nope. <clears throat> no. Do I... Do I want bats? There we go. Like, is, is that like a thing I would want? I'm not positive. You know... What about moving here? Change the facing there, and then we do the purify onto the bat. And then we purify the bat again, slightly interested. And then we come over here, and what happens if we purify this? Reaction. Cool, cool, cool. So what if you come over here and you purify the old batty bat of bat bat dude? Hesitant to join. Still hesitant to join. Likely to join. All right, and then we let other bat come out. Other bat's gonna take charge or something. I don't. I don't know how this is gonna work. Here's open. Bat on bat violence. Oh, not quite enough. Still seems likely to join though. So I mean, there's something to it, I guess. Counterattack! Yeah, alright. So did other bat join? Nope. Alright, that's that's not a thing that happened. Alright, well I'm putting my bat back in its belfry. If you know what I mean, I, I have no idea what's happening. Oh, and then if you can, if you get like a green and a red together, it forms a yellow. That's weird. Okay. Then we'll get Pre-A to come down here and purify panel. They also get healed. They were supposed to get healed from the blue. At least I thought that was the case. can all move down a little bit, right? Even Prie? Even Prie! Alright, Prie is here. Good old Prie, as I like to call her. Alright, let's see. We'll begin the battle. In, In the, the name, name of, of the, the maiden. maiden of Light, let the demon hunt begin! Sure. Whatever you say. Here comes a big old backhanded Forgive slap. Me. Bonk. Gone. Rest in peace. Rest in peace. Okay. Oh, we can't move again. Uh, 
All right, well, I mean... I guess that's the best we can do. All right, let's see what happens. Wait, what? Yeah, I know. I know, it's fine. Bonk. Forgive me. Get slapped. Alright, we're gonna try to purify capture him. We're gonna hopefully bonk this thing to death. Zero points of damage. <laughs> well, that was a big kick. Smack. Rest in peace. Alright. Oh, what's what's going what 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 what? what? Oh. Uh, turns into enemies in X number of turns. Interesting. Purify. Got it. Can she move again and do the same thing? She can. All right, we're gonna purify over here. That's gonna be good. It's gonna go on a nice, merry little run around. I purify you. Did not seem to work. No, well, starting to work though. Hesitant to join. All right, so we got to see what happens in this next situation here. A little bonk, a little slap upside the noggin head. The old noggin head. Uh, purify. Likely to join. we guarantee the joining? I think I'm just going to go ahead and attack. We're going to hope for the best. This is all to become the next Maiden of Light. Here I come. Show them what's up, girl. You suck. <laughs> Did it work? Hey, join forces with us. Yay! So we got a skelly boy and we got a bat. Now, do they stay with us or is it just for the map itself? Okay, so we did this. We can go to the world map. We can go to the Grave of Fools or the Hall of the Dead. Let's go to the world map real quick. And it's here that we're going to end up having to break it off. Let's take a look at our status. Oh, we did. We got Bonehead and our Bones HS and, and Bit Diet. They they do stay with us. That's so weird. That's such a weird mechanic. It's great, but it's weird. He's got no special abilities. Do you have any special abilities? No. Do we have any special abilities? Nope. All right, well, it looks like there's still quite a bit for us to do, quite a bit for us to learn, and I'm here for it. As we go through and we get a little further along, we will adjust various different things, uh, like the speed of combat. Maybe we'll get rid of some of the combat animations and things of that nature, so it'll be fine. This looks like a, a variant of Runic. I used to almost be able to read that. It, it is quite blurry, though. Anyway, folks, hopefully you all enjoyed. I, I certainly had a blast. I thought that was a lot of fun. And uh, I am definitely looking forward to diving in and playing some more. We got clearing the map. We could, of course, go back in and do more. And go back to the world map. And even from here, we can do saving and stuff. But we have the Grave of Fools and the Hall of the Dead as our next adventures to go and do stuff with. That all being said, don't forget this is part of a two-part game. If you guys are grabbing it on Switch, it's both La Pucelle Ragnarok, or La Pucelle Tactics, I guess, like remastered, and Rhapsody, a musical adventure. Those are the two parts to the Pretty Presents NIS Classics Volume 3. This is obviously La Pucelle Ragnarok. 
And don't forget to go check out Rhapsody, a musical adventure. I'm going to try to put them back to back. So one episode goes up and then the other one. This is probably going to be the first one's my guess. And yeah, a big shout out and a thank you once again to NIS America for always taking care of me and hooking me up with the code for this. It means a lot and I greatly, greatly appreciate it. And especially considering the request came at such a late hour. It means a lot. Thank you so much. All right, folks, uh, if you want more information about the game, where to get the game, information on the developer, the publisher, any of that stuff, it will all be down below in the description of the video and various links, just like it always is. Don't forget to like, subscribe, share, do all the YouTube algorithm things for me. It helps tremendously, apparently, according to what some people say. I don't know. It'd be nice. It'd be nice to see some numbers growing. And, yeah, until the very next episode, I've been your host, Bumpy McSquiggums. Thank you so much for stopping by the Freak Show. We play. We fight. We conquer. <laughs>